Good morning, everybody. So today is a bit different. It's dark. We are about quarter to five or five o'clock now. On the way to Lancaster, I'm on the way to a farm called Braids Farm. Braids Farm, pretty good. I'm sure, I got that right. Some of you may know this. It's like a barista milk, so they do milk for um, a London client. It's my next door neighbour's next door neighbour's at home in Lillian. It's his parents' place and his brothers. So they needed a hand it's Sunday morning. They needed a hand milking. I'm off this weekend. So obviously I'm off, I'm not milking cows, so I might as well go milk some cows somewhere else. But I said to him a while ago, I was really interested in milking at his place, a massive parlor. Uh, it milks like Jerseys and Frisians, I think, Frisian Holsteins. So I'm really interested, I want to try something different. I want to see how they do it and learn how they do it. They are made up on sand. There's loads of like little cool ways they do things. So I'm really, really interested on how they mill the cows, how they feed the cows, bedding up, learn from them how they're doing it. So it's gonna take me about an hour to get there. They start milking at six. So I've uh, set off in plenty of time. I don't wanna be late. So we're getting to Lancaster. We're gonna check it out. I think I'm gonna milk it with someone else. I think the parlor is a 24 a side parlor. It was absolutely massive. So it's 24 a side with units on both sides, so 48 units. Is that 24, 48? Or is that 48, 24? I never really, I always get a bit confused with the how you word it. But yeah, so really excited to do a bit of milking this morning and check it out and then have a chat uh, with them all. So what I'll do is we'll just fly up there, we'll get there and get started milking and then have a chat with them at the end. in the parlour today, milk the first 130 jerseys with Janet, I milk with Janet, she's on a hoverboard as well, have you seen that video on Facebook of some guys on a hoverboard, Janet is one of them and Eddie is the other, so 130 jerseys this morning, now on the black and white, it's not a uh, 24 units a side, it's a swing over, but you still can't catch up with it. Janet is big on Instagram. She has, she does a lot with the jerseys, a lot with the black and white. She's the main herds woman here. If you want to follow her on Instagram, you can. It is Janet, Janet Marie Woodhouse. It will be here and it will be in the link, the description in the link below. So if you want to follow her, see what they do on this farm. Milking about 400 cows, that's right, isn't it, Janet? 400 cows through this 24 swing over. Cows are coming in and out nicely. They don't get fed in the parlor but they come in pretty well and they're pretty chilled out clean as anything all on sand beds might have a look around in a bit don't think i'm doing too bad am i janet yeah, doing, well. doing very well so what we're doing is wiping the cows that's all they do we come in wipe them put the units on john who is the farm owner john eddie and joseph so john is the dad he had a bit of a shout at me because i put wiped the cow and then put the unit on straight away he wants at least a seven cow distance between wiping to putting the unit on so the cow is chilled out and the milk starts dropping in her bag. Little things like that. Okay, you had a little bit of a word with me, got a little bit of telling off, but now I'm not gonna do that. 
So we are going to milk, I think we're through about 200 cows and it is only, we started at six, half seven, half seven now. So we're cracking on today, no messing. Cows are behind here and they all get pushed there. They have a pushing gate. Well, obviously there's too many cows here and they're just pushing themselves. Anyway, because these cows come in and milk, no problems. They are all on auto ID on the front. You can see it's front right leg. So it's auto ID. So when the cow comes in, the machine up here, let's go up there. Machine up there knows which cow it is, how much milk they're giving and if there is any differences and it will flag up on the machine over there. It's also got heat detection. How's it, Janet? Yeah, heat detection yeah. in the in the thing. in the little yeah. thing. So it's heat detection. Is it a pedometer as well? Yeah. Pedometer as well. So it's got all the gizmos and gadgets. I do not have. We have a tomometer. So I've just got to keep looking at it. <laughs> we got a tomometer. So we just kind of look at it, and anything that I see, I ball and I serve. So it's really interesting milking here because it is a bit more, a bit more advanced. Let's say advanced than. Uh, Burke's Farm Ballon Road. just interesting for me to go milk there and show how they do it and the difference the farming techniques that they use interesting that all the cows are on sand so all they do is dry white really interesting that really clean I think the cell count they said was under a hundred which is really good and the back scan is I can't remember what the, the back scan was but it, told it wasn't a problem really low which is really good and really interesting there was not one cow out the tank for mastitis out of 400 cows which is great but the cow's feet are really good for uh, the sand they're on what I'll do next time I'll have a walk around with John or Eddie uh, and we'll just go through the cows go through the jerseys and all like that and be interested when I can go there again maybe probably hopefully in the next couple of months or in a month or something like that I'll have to get some time off again and go potter down yes I have had a day off and yes I've helped them but it was interesting for me maybe I'll take one thing from it take it to mine which would be great thank you very much for Janet for letting me record her you would have seen that she was on the Segway if anyone has seen that video of them on Facebook Eddie on the Segway that is the same people Eddie was on Love in the Countryside as well and Rebecca was there as well so those two are still together from the TV program Loving Life guys that is the end of the video like I said next time we go to Brace Farm we'll have a walk around the cows we'll see the jerseys a little bit more didn't want to fill the start of the milking because I wanted to be someone who's actually going to do that. I didn't want to be holding my camera the whole time because it was the first hour. So I wanted to get milking, kind of know the routine, how they do it. So next time I'll be able to film even better. If you guys want to see it, check. Just tell me if you want to see it in the comment section below. Just a little comment and that'll be great if we get that involved. Guys, thank you very much. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to YouTube channel. Follow me on all the other links. And Janet's Instagram will be at the below there. Braids Farm will Instagram will be below there. I don't know if we've got a Facebook page. I'll try and add all that kind of stuff in. We will see you in the next one. See you in a bit.